Hey everyone, it's me Curtis. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back. If you are a returning subscriber, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, you clicked on this to learn a little bit more about all of the mice that I own, as well as seeing a little bit of an unboxing and review of a product that I was sent. Wi-Fi is on. Let me know if you want to turn it off. I never asked for you. <laughs> Today I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a story plus a timeline as to when I got all of my mice. Before we actually get into today's video, I have an entire mouse playlist with every other mouse video that I have here on my channel compiled into a playlist. So if you would like to check that out with all things mouse related, click up here to make sure that you see that before you watch today's video. I don't want to talk too much in this intro, so let's just get right on into today's video. <laughs> So right before I get my mice out of the cage, I actually wanted to quickly just mention, if you just want to see mice, I will leave a timestamp right here on screen for you just to click right on over there. However, uh, I think it would be really interesting for you guys to know that this really kind company called Becco from Amazon actually reached out to me a couple weeks uh, prior to this video going up and asked me if they can send me a product to review on my channel. And now trust me, even as a smaller influencer, I swear that, you know, I still get a decent amount of promotions and offers and things for people that want to send me things and just talk about them. But, you know, a lot of times they don't have anything to do with pets, so obviously I'm not going to sit here and try and get you guys to buy anything. However, like after looking through their brand, their company, their products, what they offer, and just their overall reviews, I decided to give this company Becco a shot, which is why today I'm going to be unboxing the Becco Adjustable Traveling Pet Carrier. So fun fact, this is actually the third time I'm filming this. The first time I filmed it was at 2 o'clock in the morning, technically today, but my ring light, after I finished the whole video, I realized my ring light was the dimmest it could be, so the lighting wasn't that great. Then the second time I filmed it, I was just getting really, really hot, and it was a nightmare because the mice were pooping all over me, so I hope that today uh, we have a better experience. Anyway, that being said, I can't unbox it again for you guys, but I will leave some clips right here on screen so that you guys can kind of see me unboxing the product when I first got it. So that was me unboxing it and that was earlier this morning technically. Here is the product right here, um, I'll actually turn it around for you guys. My mice, all five of them are in here and this is like ginormous, small dogs can fit in this. It's a great material and there's so many little features on this that I still have to honestly learn about. But this part of the video is not going to be a review, I'll get into that in a second or I guess I should say at the end of today's video. I'm so happy that I was sent this to share with you guys because this is actually a really 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 great product and I can definitely see myself using this a lot in the future vlogs and videos. Plus that's perfect for today's video since I have to talk about and show you guys five super crazy mice so this is going to keep them contained while I do so. So a quick preface to the mouse section of this video, my first two mice I ever owned were Daisy and Poppy. They were two rescue uh, lab mice. One of them passed away Poppy first and I was only left with Daisy uh, for a couple months I believe before I was able to finally get three mice. And to kind of give you guys a little preface so that you know why Daisy was alone when I introduced my first three mice to her. So early April or very 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 late February of last year, I can't seem to find the date but if I find it I would put it right here on screen. I believe it was like April 1st I was able to adopt three fancy mice from my local Petco and at this time Daisy was already really 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 starting to decline and I noticed she was getting older but I still didn't want to feel like I was depriving her of social interaction with an animal that she can actually understand so that is when I introduced her to my three new mice Dahlia, Camellia, and Willow. I'll just start with Dahlia first because unfortunately she did pass away about a week I want to say after I got her she must have been sick because none of the other mice were affected the way she was and when I found her she just didn't look like she passed away from old age and I will insert a picture of Dahlia just for her memory here on screen but yeah she did pass away really really soon after I first got her and that just left me with three mice Daisy, Camellia, and Willow. Daisy passed away very shortly after I introduced her to these mice so then I was left with two mice which were Camellia and Willow. Like mentioned, I got them in early April of last year, 2018, so they're just coming around to being about a year old now. But just to introduce you guys to them, the first mouse that I'm going to show you guys is Willow. So this is Willow. She is my dove, red-eyed, long hair, fancy mouse. Finally, after like long self-debate, I have come to the conclusion that she is long hair. And that should have never been a debate, but I just felt like I was never lucky enough 
to like get a long hair mouse because where I live that is way more rare to find especially for adoption I always noticed that there was something different about her coat type even the first video where I talked about getting them I was like her fur looks a little bit weird but as you guys can see I'm like brushing through it and it gets messy because she's very long hair and you can tell I will leave some clips maybe on screen showing you guys how long hair she really is but she is the only long hair mouse that I have and that I have ever had to date she is very, very sweet. Um, she does defend herself if she ever gets into any of the little conflicts with the mice. And when it was only her and Camellia, she was the more dominant mouse. She loves running on her wheel, and I hope if I put her on my shoulder, she won't crawl all over my neck, because then it's going to make my neck itch. I feel like she almost looks different than the other mice, because I feel like her face is more flat and like vertical. It's not so like... But yeah, she's a really, really sweet mouse. She's really docile. She doesn't mind being picked up, and... Like I mentioned, she's the only long hair mouse that I have. Also, like, she's so, so, so soft. I don't know if that has to do with anything with being long hair, but she's, like, my softest mouse, and she's just really, really cute. <laughs> So the next mouse that I'm going to be talking about is the other mouse that I mentioned earlier that I got the same day as Willow, and that is Camellia. Camellia is my black-eyed, broken-marked, black-and-white mouse. As you guys can see, she just has really cute big ears, and she has this little black patch on the top of her head as well as on her butt. She actually has a little uh, injury from one of the other mice which I'll get to when I talk about that mouse but that kind of goes into the thing I was going to say about her anyway which is the fact that she's very docile and standoffish. I feel like almost a little too much because I feel like she almost gets taken advantage of by one of the other mice. <laughs> uh, honestly I feel like she's gone through a lot for a little mouse you know she survived the cancer or I she survived a tumor, she had a tumor, and um, you know, after some treatment with that, it went away. And I hope it just doesn't return, but you know, she has an injury from the other mouse, and I almost feel like she may be blind. I think this because, you know, I think she's just so sweet and like easy going when it comes to getting her out of the cage. But when I notice that when I grab their food bowl out of their cage, the other mice kind of come running because they know like they're about to get food, whereas she takes another second to kind of process things. So I don't know if that has anything to do with her vision. I know that the tumor was located like on her head, like cheek area, so I don't know if that had any impact on her brain or like, you know, the visual part of her brain. But she is definitely the sweetest and calmest mouse out of the group. Yeah, she's one of the sweetest mice that I've ever had. So the next mouse that I'm going to show you guys is my mouse Iris. So we got Iris and the next mouse that I'm going to be showing you Petunia on the same day, September 7th of last year, 2018. They are the medium aged mice out of my group. I have like three different age groups. Camellia and Willow are my oldest. Uh, Primrose is my youngest, which you are going to see in a little bit. And Iris and Petunia are my two middle aged mice. They were very, very tiny when I got them. And being that I got them in September, they are about five to maybe six months old. Uh, the most right now but iris is the calmest and like the best mouse when it comes to being pet she will literally let me take her out of the cage and just pet her out of all the mice i don't think i've ever had a mouse that will literally just sit in my hand and be pet and she is a red-eyed dove fox mouse i believe funny enough her pattern actually changed since i first got her but her belly is all white um i can't really show you guys that right now and she has a little white face in the front which like it looks like a milk mustache I'm not sure how much that's picking up right now but since I've gotten her she's also developed this little white patch behind her ear funny thing about her she actually escaped the day that she was being given to me and within the first week I had her I think she escaped the cage twice which is why I almost named her Houdini <laughs> but yeah she will literally just sit in my hand as you guys can see which I think is so funny and yeah she's definitely one of the chillest mice that I have so my fourth mouse that I'm going to show you guys is Petunia. As you guys can see, Petunia is a red-eyed or pink-eyed, I believe is what they call them specifically for fawns. But she's my pink-eyed, short hair fawn mouse. She, again, is about five to six months uh, at most. And although she does have a sweet temperament and usually doesn't mind being handled, she is a little bit harder to take out of the cage. And she did take longer to kind of come along with the whole taming process. She's really, really curious and will always go in like different little holes in my hand 
and see how many ways there is to get out of something. And I think I would have to say that she's my most neutral mouse, um, if I had to say that about any of them, which I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so the next, last, and fifth mouse that I'm going to be showing you guys today is my mouse Primrose. This is Primrose right here. She is the youngest mouse that I have. I've had her for the least amount of time, but somehow she still thinks that she is the most dominant and sassy mouse in the world. I have noticed that she has picked fights with the other mice that have um, resulted in injuries. Now nothing serious, but uh, like you know, it'll cause like a little scab on the mice. And I've definitely been more cautious with her and watching her behavior. Fortunately, she is getting better at that. But you know, at one point I thought it was like. I didn't really, I thought it was going to get out of hand. I don't want to make it seem like she's an awful mouse, but she's definitely the most timid and most shy when it comes to getting out of the cage. I got her back in October, so um, she is the most recent mouse that I have. And I forgot to mention, but she is a black-eyed Brindle. Um, I was so happy to see her for up for adoption because, you know, Brindles are really hard to come by in my area. And they're also just a really, really, really beautiful um, coat pattern, so I was really happy to find her. So at this point, she's still really, really good in weight. However, she's not that great. She's still getting used to um, being handled and being tamed. And she's getting even better at kind of getting along with her sisters, but she did mark up Camellia kind of bad, so I've been treating Camellia with some antibiotic cream. But I've just been watching her a lot and hoping that she doesn't do anything else to the herd. And I just want to clarify, I don't think that my other mice are in any great danger by having her in there. I don't think she necessarily just wants to hurt mice for no random reason. But I think she just wants to be the most dominant mouse. And if that's what's going to happen, that's what's going to happen regardless. However, um, yeah, she's just a lady with an attitude. <laughs> and that is all I'm going to say about Primrose. Alright guys, so now that I have shown you all of my mice, told you guys a little bit about all of them, I'm going to kind of get into the review now of the product. So here is the product. I had my mice in it the whole time that I was speaking with you guys. I'm trying to get it like fully in frame for you guys. But to say the least, there is a lot of features on here. As you guys can see, there's an adjustable like arm strap that you can use. Then there's a little handle right here. This top mesh piece actually opens up for complete access to get to your pet from the top. Then there is one big ventilation hole right here on this side, as well as on this side, there is a luggage thing right here where that you can use to slide this on top of a suitcase if you are traveling. What I found really, really cool was that if you actually unzip this part right here, I think that this is really, really cool because you can carry like two animals in here that won't be able to access each other. However, if you really, really want to, you can actually take down the wall that's right here and then your one pet that's in here or however many can have this whole area. And the best part is that it just closes right back up and then you just zip and zip. Now I know a lot of people are going to be asking about sizing and things. Um, if you have a small dog, 1000% they are going to fit in here. Um, so I want to say maybe anything under 20 pounds. Um, my dog is a Catan de Tulier. He's just almost 20 pounds, I believe. And he probably would just fit in here if I needed him to, like if it was an emergency or anything. I definitely think that I would be able to get him in here and he's about 20 pounds. And then another really, really cool thing is that on the sides, this is how I was getting to the mice as I was filming. The sides have these two um, zippers and they actually lock so that um, if you don't want it to be able to open from anyone else, then it won't. But, you know, you just drag them down and then your whole wall is exposed to the inside of the carrier. I currently have the inside pad lined with this towel, but it is a really, really soft and um, fuzzy like linen 
I just wanted to line mine for this video because as you guys can see, my mice pooped all on the inside. <laughs> and then right here in the front, there's also another little door that you can also, of course, clip together so that it won't undo. But this is another little quick door without taking the whole thing down. There's also another big door that you can take down if need be. And then there is two pockets where you can store things like medication, um, dog bags, water bottles, and anything else that you may need. One last time, I just really, really want to thank Becca for choosing me to send this product to and share with you guys. I 100% recommend this product if you were looking for a pet carrier. Becca was actually kind enough to give me a coupon code to use for you guys. So if you are interested in purchasing this product, you can use this code right here on screen in order to get a percent off of your purchase. Of course, the link and everything will be down below in the description section of today's video if you want to check it out further. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you really, really enjoyed today's video. Please give it a like if you did. And don't forget that you guys can subscribe to my channel to make sure that you do not miss any more of my future content. If you guys like, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which are just at Curtis Lassane, just like my YouTube channel. And I also run an online pet store through Etsy where I sell pet supplies for rodents, reptiles, birds, dogs, and more. So if you want to check that out, the link to that is always in the description of all of my videos. Videos. If you guys enjoyed today's mouse video, make sure you click here to view my whole mouse playlist where you can check all of my other mouse videos out that I have here on my channel. And you can also click right here to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you all in the next one.